So we're just going to have a little look at uh, abseiling over a 90 degree edge. It's probably, I don't know, 85% of all abseiling. Top of the building, ropes rigged off over there. And then we've got um, two main problems. We've got rope protection on the edge and then we've got physically getting over the edge. So we'll have a look at the rope protection first. In the uh, good old days or bad old days, we'd get a bit of carpet, put it on the edge. Um, you got like a concrete parapet with a, a lot of the time they're like razor sharp edges or steel ones with hidden edges. Um, it's obviously a big problem. So if you've got a clean cut 90 degree edge, we could be looking at um, these lion edge guards, um, double one for two ropes. You're putting these on the good, you just gotta make sure the prussic to your backup line correctly before you put them on the edge and then make sure that they can't move because you've only got a narrow window. Or we've got, I, I quite like these because they're big and bulky, DMM Pro Pads. I mean, it's, it's an improvement on a bit of carpet by a long way. Um, you can put both ropes in there. We've got a big lot of padding in the background. But we put those on, we put both ropes in, make sure it goes over the edge, Velcro it up. Uh, what we're trying to avoid nowadays is just using, you know, flimsy canvas rope protectors over 90 degree edges. We want to improve on that really. Right, so we're going to go over the edge. I've tied a little knot in my backup line. We don't normally like the mini working lines on a straight drop, but this should be out of the way. Uh, so I'm going to clip my pro pad into there and then both ropes on top. If we're going to be using a work seat, now's a good time to put it on. So if it's a, a Petzl one, clip it under everything into your little eyes. You can just clip it into the D, but uh, on these new ones. Uh, you've got those funky clipping points. Right, so ready to go. Double checked, ASAP going to the arrows. And then I want this point here on my working line that's just on the edge into the ID. And then resist the urge to pull it up because that's the point that we want to be when we go over the edge. So double checking, it's following the diagram. Top of that going to uh, your anchors. I'm going to put my hand ascender within reach, but it's going to stretch as we go over and you don't want your hand ascender on a 90 degree edge because you bend them. Every drop's different. Um, you'll have different stretches, different rope rigging. Um, you know, if it's undercut, it's an absolute pain in the backside. Um, in here, it's not too bad. So we're just going over and I step in my foot loop. Sitting down. Try not to trap your ropes. Not bent my hand ascender. Right, so we're quite happy at that. So I'm going to take my hand ascender off now. So once my ropes are in there, I will just stop, Velcro it up a bit. Might have to abseil a bit to Velcro it up more. And it's the same with rope protectors. You might have to abseil a bit, do it up, abseil a bit, do it up. And then once you're ready to go, get your legs straight and then you can walk down. So if we were climbing back over an edge, um, we've got a bit of a problem because the crawl is only ever good when it's loaded. So if I start scrambling around and introducing slack into this system, um, it's not so good. In, so in, a, in an ideal world, I should change into descent just below the top. And then as we climb over, It's just loading in a much better way and I can keep inching over rather than having a huge amount of slack in here because if I just tip over at the last minute, um, I don't want to shock load a crawl. 
Uh, so I'd do it that, and then we can get over nice and nice and safe.